Have you ever noticed how brand new cast iron cookware looks gray, but after months or years of use, it turns deep black? That color change isn't just cosmetic. It's a sign that your cookware is developing something called a patina. And if you've ever heard someone say that a well-seasoned cast iron pan is better with age, they're absolutely right. But what exactly causes this transformation? Why does cast iron cookware develop a black patina over time? Well, let's dive into the chemistry, history, and some common misconceptions about cast iron seasoning right here on History of Simple Things. Before we talk about the black patina, let's break down what cast iron actually is. Unlike stainless steel or aluminum, cast iron is an alloy made primarily of iron with about 2 to 4% carbon, along with small amounts of silicon and other elements. This high carbon content gives cast iron its strength, but it also makes the surface rough and porous. That's why cast iron pans need to be seasoned before use. Without seasoning, they're prone to rusting and food sticking. So, what is seasoning, and how does it contribute to that black patina? When you season a cast iron pan, you apply a thin layer of oil, typically flaxseed, canola, or vegetable oil, and then heat it to a high temperature. This process triggers a chemical reaction called polymerization. During polymerization, the oil molecules break down and reform into a hard, plastic-like coating that bonds to the pan surface. This creates a non-stick layer that also protects the pan from rust. Over time, as you continue cooking and reapplying oil, more layers of seasoning build up, deepening the color from light brown to deep black. This is why old, well-used cast iron pans tend to look darker than brand new ones. There are a couple of scientific reasons for this color change. First, as the layers of polymerized oil thicken, they begin to absorb and reflect light differently, making the pan appear darker. But beyond that, repeated heating and exposure to high temperatures cause carbonization. Carbonization happens when oils and food particles are exposed to intense heat for prolonged periods turning them into carbon-rich residues. This carbon gradually builds up on the surface, contributing to the pan's signature black appearance. Think of it like the charred crust that forms on a well-used grill. It's essentially the same process. Some people mistakenly think the blackened surface of a cast iron pan means it's dirty or burnt. In reality, it's the complete opposite. A well-seasoned, blackened pan is a sign of a well-maintained piece of cookware. That layer of carbonized oil is what makes cast iron non-stick and rust-resistant. However, if your pan develops a sticky or uneven surface, that might mean your seasoning process needs some tweaking. The black patina isn't just a modern phenomenon. Historically, cast iron cookware has been prized for its ability to improve over time. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, cast iron skillets and Dutch ovens were essential kitchen tools. Since factory seasoned pans weren't common back then, people had to develop their own patina through years of use. In fact, some families passed down cast iron cookware through generations, and the black patina was a sign of a well-loved and well-used pan. Even today, vintage cast iron pieces with a well-developed patina are highly sought after by collectors and home cooks alike. Not all cast iron cookware develops a black patina at the same rate. Several factors influence how quickly a pan darkens. Type of oil used. Oils with high levels of polyunsaturated fats, like flaxseed oil, create harder, more durable layers of seasoning, 
which can lead to a faster darkening process. Cooking temperature. Higher temperatures speed up polymerization and carbonization, leading to a quicker transition to black. Frequency of use. The more you cook with your cast iron, the faster it will develop that deep black patina. Regular use helps the seasoning build up and smooth out. Cleaning method. Avoiding harsh detergents and scrubbing with metal pads helps preserve the seasoning. Using a chainmail scrubber or stiff brush with warm water is the best way to clean cast iron without stripping the black and seasoning layer. Let's clear up a few common misconceptions about cast iron seasoning and the black patina. Myth 1. A new cast iron pan should already be black. While some manufacturers sell pre-seasoned cast iron, brand new unseasoned cast iron is usually gray. It turns black only after multiple rounds of seasoning and use. Myth 2. Soap ruins the seasoning. While it's true that harsh soaps can strip seasoning, a small amount of mild soap won't destroy a well-developed patina. Just make sure to reapply oil after washing. Myth 3. Rust means the pan is ruined. Rust isn't the end of the world. It just means the seasoning has worn off in spots. A little scrubbing with steel wool, followed by re-seasoning, can bring the pan back to life. If you want to keep your cast iron in top shape, here are some simple maintenance tips. Cook with it often. The more you use your pan, the better it gets. Cooking fatty foods like bacon or frying in oil helps build up the seasoning. Avoid prolonged soaking. Water can break down the seasoning and cause rust, so always dry your pan thoroughly after washing. Apply a light coat of oil after cleaning. This helps protect the surface and maintain the non-stick properties. So there you have it. The reason your cast iron pan turns black over time is a combination of polymerization, carbonization, and good old-fashioned use. That deep black patina isn't just a mark of age. It's a sign of a well-seasoned, well-loved piece of cookware. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.